Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Hex, and I'd like to have a conversation with you guys about Fishing Planet. Um, Fishing Planet is, it, well, let's just read what it says. Fishing Planet is a free to play, unique and highly realistic online first person multiplayer fishing simulator. Whew, developed by <laughs> for anglers to bring the full thrill of actual fishing. Um, yeah, I see this. The, the problem we've got here is I played it yesterday on stream with some friends. Um, and I've played it literally, and I, I know nothing about fishing. I've never been fishing. I am not the audience for this game. Um, so I played it satirically. Um, I literally played it to run around the world being like, look, I'm fishing, you know, as you do, like a big asshole. And uh, while I was doing that, I realized that perhaps if you actually do like fishing, there aren't a lot of other options on Linux. And perhaps this is the best fishing game on Linux. Um, and if you like fishing and you want to just that, like, push it out, just relax and wait. You know, you want that experience. This actually might be a really good game. Um, and someone popped into our uh, to our Twitch chat yesterday that said he plays a lot of it. And yeah, it seem, it seems like perhaps it is a really good fishing game and I judged it harshly. That said, there are things wrong with the Linux version, uh, which we'll go into shortly. The game is in early access. It's free to play. There's currently, it's not currently on 50% off, but there's like £13 worth of DLC currently. And that's at half off. Um, there's, there's a lot of it too. Look at this, look at this. Get this out. There's a lot, quite a bit of it. I mean, some of these things are priced at like some some of these things are priced at like forty four pounds and stuff. There's like two hundred and six pound of DLC. So this is the Pro Angler pack. Just to sort of, I think this is like your starting DLC, from what I understand. And then this is like if you want to get the full experience. But a free to play game that suddenly costs two hundred and six pound. If you're serious about it, I don't know how I feel about that. But you guys can decide for yourselves. So let's scroll down some more, shall we? Let's keep scrolling down. Uh, requirements this day i think this is a customized unity game it feels like a unity game maybe i'm wrong well that's kind of the feel that the game the engine has um yeah it feels we're talking about now who knows um maybe i'm completely wrong uh, recommended is a uh dual core intel or amd eight gig of ram two gigabyte of video ram yeah that seems about right um external mouse or compatible xbox controller required external mouse okay i've never found an internal mouse but we'll let that go and uh look at this people have played for 439 hours 51 hours 260 hours yeah 190 hours people seem to like this even though i didn't get it on any level um so when i said there's something wrong with the linux version what exactly did i mean well all the credit this goes to glog in chat yesterday because i genuinely would not have figured this out and he i don't know where he found the solution for this but basically um, navigate to the Steam folder where you where you keep your game, and uh, uh, and then you want to you want to create this file called Steam underscore app ID dot txt. That's Steam underscore a p p i d dot txt. And in there, you just literally write three eighty six hundred, which is the Steam ID for the I believe it's the Steam ID for the game. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, store page. Yeah, it's the Steam ID for the actual... So if you look at the address in Steam, it's it's, it's the actual address of the game. Um, you have to uh, you have to do this anyway. And then you can just run it from Terminal. Uh, well, there you go. You can just run it from Terminal. Now, if you try and... I've just took a screenshot for some reason as well. If you try and run it from Steam, uh, this happens. So let's go back to my library, Fishing Planet Play. And uh, yeah, nothing. Literally nothing happens at all. Uh, you can be there all day doing that. Nothing happens, no error message. But if you run it from terminal, you uh, quickly, you quickly get, you quickly get the game on screen. And uh, Steam even uh, once you've done the app ID thing, Steam even knows it's running. It somehow figures out that it's running, and he's happy to uh, have all the relevant features. You don't get the Steam overlay, but your Steam's gonna log your hours and anything transactions and stuff you need to do should go through Steam, no problem. If that's even how the game works. Uh, but yeah, that's how you get it running, and I'll put the description for that below in the video. Okay, so let's look at the game. When you first log in, it does ask you to register, but you can just put any username and password in. It doesn't seem to verify in any way. Um, and here's an ad, but that's okay because it's a free-to-play game. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the entire world of the game. Like like North America is, is the world of the game. Um, but I f yeah, I, I don't really know what else to tell you. That, that seems like when it says Fishing Planet, it means in this piece of america um so let's have a look at the two places we can go we can go to mudwater river or lone star lake mudwater river is actually an unlocked area so i actually played long enough to unlock an area i played for like, i actually played for like an hour even though i had no idea what i was doing and i had no idea how to play um 
so let's have a look at the actual bit. Let's have a look at mud. Well, let's have a look at the starting zone. Actually, that might be the best way to go. So we travel there. And then when we get there, it asks me where I would like to fish. So on the bridge is the nicest spot, I think. Yay! A little bit of loading. Now it's worth saying that um, it's worth saying that the performance in this game is not great. If you turn up the graphics past medium, I think it is. It just starts for me at least. It just started absolutely chugging. But I was streaming at the time, so perhaps it's one of those games that's heavily affected by OBS. Who knows? But I'll leave it on these settings while I'm recording. Now there's another person. That's an actual other player. Now I genuinely, when I first logged in. We was talking about this on, on Twitch, and we, we thought, hey, this is just populated with random people, so you feel that you're not alone. Nope, we got somebody else in chat to log in, and we could see them, and wave ones, and wave ones, wave rods at each other. It, it was, it's legit, these are really other people. Now, weirdly, though, if you get too close, they vanish, which is really weird, look. There you go, gone. <laughs> I think it's really weird. Look, look, gone, what's the point of fishing simulator? I want to push people in the river and cause shenanigans, but maybe that's why they, they vanish, because... People are actually just here to fish. So from what I understand about it, I hold down this button, I cast my line out, and then I wait patiently, waiting, forever waiting for something to nibble my, my, my red worms, hook eight, whatever that is. That's just, that's in the corner. That's in the corner. That's in the corner. So this is the game. Lots of waiting and enjoying the ambience. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if you like fishing, maybe this is it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, oh, it was on. It was, it was on the end of my rod, and I did it wrong. Let's let's give it one more for posterity, and then we'll move on to the other lake. Come on, let's, we can do this, guys. We can catch. We can catch a I don't know boot or something. Um, the only fishing game I really ever got into was the uh, the amiibo fishing game that's on the 3DS. Um, that was that was mind blowing. That was that was a fantastic game. It was it was alright. It was the right game. There was, there was lots more interactivity than this. There you go. We caught a fish. Look, we caught a fish. Yeah, we can keep it or release it. So let's keep it. So release it. You fish. I've hunted for this. I'm keeping it now. And uh, you'll notice the uh, the mouse has appeared on the screen. Now, uh, you can hold the left control to free your mouse. So if your mouse does show up, you can hold the left control, release left control. And it does seem to get around that. It's not ideal, but it's a fix that's relatively just tapping a button until it goes away. It's not the end of the world. Now, let's uh, leave this place. Uh... And let's check out the, uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Let's check out the other place. Ooh, traveling. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, let's check out Mudwater River. Uh, we don't need to buy a license for that right now. I don't even know what this license stuff's about. I think maybe you can't keep the fish teeth water license. I'm not sure. So let's go to this spot here. Okay, so again, people are here. This game is populated and played. People do seem to genuinely like it. And you can stand right here, and you can fish to your heart's content. Uh, there are other bugs in the game, such as the chat window on the left. Uh, if people are chatting a lot, the chat window crawls out of the chat box and all the way up the top of the screen, which is somewhat in <laughs> somewhat interesting. Um, and uh, like I say, graphically, it, it does look a lot better than this when you turn it up, but it just killed performance for me while I had OBS open. Uh, your mileage may vary. Um, as always, it's in early access, so you've got to forgive them a little bit. But yeah, I, I mean... I don't, as someone doesn't think about fishing, it was easy for me to, to laugh and be like, look, I'm fishing, I can't go anywhere, it's not fishing world, and, and pick faults with it. But in all honesty, yeah, if, if, if you're into fishing, this, this, yeah, this seems like the way to go. Um, yay, let's have a look at, oh, there's, there's someone else there, it's really well populated, it does seem genuinely like people really like this game, even though I don't get it <coughs> on any level. So uh, let's have a look at the item shop, shall we? Leave this, yes, let's leave here. Okay, I didn't get anything. That's fine. Traveling to the to the menu. Okay, uh, and then we can go to the shop here. Now the shop has all sorts of stuff, which I assume makes your fishing better. And I assume from the fact they're really pushing the names here that these are real companies with the the people anglers really know. Um, but in the premium shop here, we can buy. See, this is this is the point where I took a little bit of issue with the game. 360 days of membership of, of gold member premium membership to the game which i don't even know what that means uh is is 70 pounds it's 69 pounds 71 pence it's that's a lot of money for any mmo really i mean it just seems like a lot of money but it works out to be a 10 pounds 49 a month which is comparable to world of warcraft so i don't know maybe it is okay maybe it's not and as pseudo pointed out in chat yesterday uh, all of these are premium, 
See a little premium tag there. Apart from 180 days, which is not premium. For whatever reason. I don't know what that is. And then we can buy uh, bait coins, which are not all like bitcoins. We can buy bait coins, um, which we can use to buy bait, I assume. And we can buy bond passes. Uh, so there's a lot of money to be sunk into this game. I think it's like all niche games. Like if you look at Euro Truck or any of the uh, the train simulator games, they make their money on DLC because they want, you know, if you're an enthusiast, you'll be like, oh, I want that rod, oh, I want that train. You know, you, there's something about the enthusiast market that makes people happy to spend the money and more power to you if, if, if you're happy to spend the money and they've made a game for you, you know. If this going to be funded somehow, because I shouldn't imagine, even though it seems quite populated, I shouldn't imagine this is going to get this was ever going to get World of Warcraft numbers. So the fact they've made the game for a relatively small audience um, is quite impressive. Uh, but yeah, so, so it's something to think about. Look at this. I can get one star, which is one fishing star, for twenty bucks, and some I've got fourteen grand here. I don't even know how or why that happened. I don't even know how that happened. But yeah, and there is a there is a friends list and stuff. There's, there's friends and there's. There's people who play. As, as I said, I don't get it, but I'm not the audience for it. Um, and I think perhaps you'll really like it if you are looking for a fishing game. So, I've been HexDSL. Thank you very much for watching my fishing game thing. <laughs> I'll put all the I'll put the description of how to fix the game in the video below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.